for the first time this year, UCLA goes over 198. There are now three teams in the country to have reached that mark, Oklahoma, Florida, and the UCLA Bruins. UCLA put up season highs on two different events, floor to close the meet and vault to start things off. And once again, Caitlin Ohashi reaching heights and only Ohashi and Ross seem to find. Let's go back and look at Kyla Ross. Perfection on the vault. Well, she was on fire from start to finish here in Poly Pavilion, starting with this Yurchenko one and a half vault. Second time in a row, she scored a perfect 10. Arizona has a hot gymnast right now in Christina Berg. She now, 12 of her last 14 have gone at least 9-8. She went 9-9-2-5 on bars. She's solid, consistent, and really clean, especially with those landings. She does a good job of absorbing the mat. And it wasn't just on bars. She moved over to floor, anchoring that rotation as well with a 9-9. She had to learn a couple new passes this year, but did it for her team, which is why she's been able to compete so well for them this season. UCLA doesn't call the final rotation the fourth rotation on floor. They call it a Fourth quarter, fourth quarter dance party. Felicia, Felicia Hano, 995. She's been wanting to compete as amazing as she did last year, and this was a step in the right direction. She did a good job cleaning up her form and controlling those landings. And then needing a big score to lift UCLA to 198 for the first time. Who better than Caitlin Ohashi, who already has two tens on the floor? Well, it seems almost easy for her and fun, and I asked her how she did it, and she said just that. It's fun, and it's easy for me. I just enjoy the moment and get the crowd involved. It's her sixth perfect 10 on the floor in her career. Kaylin Ohashi and the Bruins end up with a 198.025. Next up for UCLA, they are on the road at Utah, Saturday on the network. For Sam Peshek, I'm Jim Watson. We'll see you in Salt Lake City.